first day, first day of being back, how'd it go? Uh, it was a good day. Uh, got to see got to see a lot of guys run around that uh, you know that are excited to play this year. Uh, got a lot of young guys and new guys that you know get their chance to make a mark this season. So I can't wait to uh, go on another season, you know, with a new team. What do you think about Josh being back at corner? Uh, I think it's a good move for our football team. Uh, he helped us a lot there uh, in the young in the younger part of his career. Uh, I think it's a great play for him, and he's gonna make a he's gonna make a positive mark there. Is he just one of those guys who can kind of play wherever they need to put him? Uh, most definitely, he definitely could uh, fit there, fit at safety. Uh, I think they're gonna try to tr cross train him, but they just won't get his feet back used to uh, moving that corner uh, early in, in the, uh, this part of camp. How, how much has the team kind of, or has it embraced, you know, Josh and Nick since they've come back, uh, just getting back in the fold? I will team. They're my boy. You know, they mistake our mistake, and they knew that, you know, even before it happened. They knew we were going to have their back. Uh, you know, we, we're not here to judge anybody, uh, you know. So we definitely, you know, been up, been those boys' uh, backbone because, I mean, the media, you know, they, they pounded them enough. And they didn't really need our beat down, so you know it was a great feeling for them boys to be able to come home and you know just hang out with us and you know get encouraged and get ready for this season ahead. Have you had any kind of discussion with, with uh, Jonathan individually about kind of uh, moving forward, just moving past it all? Uh, most definitely, because uh, you know I'm on his side of the field and uh, you know he's gonna be my corner. Uh, that's gonna help you know each other get drafted this year. So he definitely need to be, you know, up to par. <laughs> we are gonna help each other. Uh, so I just been talking to him and just telling him, man, hey, it's a mistake. You gotta move on. Uh, it, it, it put the spotlight on him, though. Uh, he gotta use it in a positive way. How, how, how different was it out there today, coming off last season? Uh, I mean, it, it, it kind of feel felt like it was exciting, but it, you know, it just felt like you know it, we got a long way to go. Uh, we starting the whole road trip back over. Uh, from scratch, really, and we putting together a whole new team. Last year, team is gone. Uh, we starting out with some with some new guys and got some new pieces that going you know, and, and make us a lot better team. What, what has been your, your take on Derrick uh, on the other side, kind of playing opposite? Of you? He's been getting a lot of the first team reps. Uh, you know, he's a big guy that makes a lot of plays. Smart guy. Uh, I think that what got him on the field so fast. Uh, his reliability definitely, you know, is, is the thing that I look forward to. You know, I don't have to look over there and keep wondering if he's doing the right thing. He's taking care of his business and his side of the ball, and I can take care of mine. And, you know, we definitely look down and uh, we communicate with the rest of the defense. And we think alike. We watch a lot of film together. We're going to definitely watch a lot more coming up this, uh, this year. You mentioned getting drafted earlier. Is, now that you're a senior, is that kind of start to get more real in your mind as the season starts? Well, I mean, I want to make play, uh, hopefully put myself in a position where it's undeniable. But, uh, you know, I, I think uh, – I think that the numbers and the, and the stats and the film gonna speak for itself. Uh, I just want to make the old play that you know should enable me to be able to be a draftable player. But if not, you know I know a lot of guys that got great careers that were free agents. I know a lot of guys that got great careers, you know that that, that were drafted. So I, I mean I just want to get there in any any fashion that it happens. Uh, but you know that's a personal goal. I'm, I'm all focused on the team, mm -hmm. you know right now. It's kind of one of those personal goals though that if you play well. <laughs> Yeah, it works I mean, out for both of you, yeah, right? Yeah, you know what I'm saying? We, if, we, if we play well and make the play we're supposed to make, I think it's going to be hard to, to deny us. I think you took like four or five or six plays off last year. When you played every single game from start to finish, are you going to do that again this year? Is that something that's important to you? Uh, I mean, I just want to be out there for my team. Uh, I, was, I was held to, you know, very accountable last year. I had to, you know, do a lot for the team. But I mean, uh, it, it, it's just a role that you know. I feel if I'm in shape enough and I can I can be productive out there, then cool. But I mean, we got guys on the bench that can make plays, that can come in behind me. I definitely would love to see those guys come in and, and be able to do that. But I mean, last year, last year, I don't know how this year going to unfold. Uh, you know, if I don't hurt nothing, break nothing, I plan to be out there. What did you focus on over the summer, personally? Most definitely, I pro I focused mainly on my leadership ability and skills because I, I knew that I was going to have to get the team up to a part. I mean, we only strong as our weakest link. You know, we got a lot of guys that can play, that i seen make a lot of plays that hadn't did it in the game yet. And, you know, that's going to take a lot. You know, I knew how it would my freshman and sophomore year trying to make plays. And I just want to be there for those guys. I mean, me personally, though, uh, I definitely need to get my hands on the ball a lot more, a lot of takeaways. Uh, I got too many snaps to not have, you know, as many, as many picks. So I definitely want to get that those numbers up. A lot of the, a lot of the, a lot of newcomers in the defensive backfield 
Any any guys stand out during captain's practices and stuff like that? Oh man, all them boys, you know, are, are able to make plays. Uh, Moncrief, most definitely. Uh, uh, Cavalry. Uh, I mean, just all those boys. Uh, they 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 all came in with a, with a learning mentality and just been able to you know just just listen and take coaching and you know take it from their peers. I mean, that's the hardest people to take coaching from is your peers, and they just been a sponge trying to take everything in because they know that you know to get on their field they're gonna have to you know learn some things that that there's not gonna be able to that they ain't gonna be able to see right now they're gonna have to listen and find out from someone else good to have good to have all those numbers though after the injuries you guys kind of went through last year back there uh most definitely i mean you know uh i think we breed in auburn to be a, a great place uh, in our position we got a lot of depth around the board uh, and I think we're trying to, you know, definitely look out for the secondary for years to come. Uh, I can't wait to watch them next year and the year after. So, I mean, it's it, it definitely something to look forward to.